Um, okay, so before I start, I just want to remind you guys that Affiliate Summit does a drawing for you guys filling out the review forms. So you can go ahead and fill those out when you're done with the session. Um, the I talk fast is a given, so you probably don't need to put that on there. We get that a lot. So I, I will try and talk as slow as possible, but I'm from New Jersey. So the fact that I talk without a lot of curse words is a big plus for me. So. Um, so I'm going to let everybody on the panel introduce themselves. We're doing an SEO site clinic. So basically what that means is people have come up, they've given us their business cards. We're going to go through their sites. We're going to tell them what we see wrong with their sites and how to fix it. Um, the general plus to everybody in here whose site is not being reviewed is that your site probably has some of the same issues as the sites that we're going to review live on stage. So uh, with that, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. And uh, also, too, if you guys read the session uh, or the read the outline, uh, Michael Gray had a personal emergency that prevented him from being here. So Taylor Pratt is going to be pinch hitting for him on the end. Um, and I'm going to let Taylor introduce himself first. Hi, I'm Taylor Pratt. I work for Raven Internet Marketing Tools. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I'm Michael Martin. I work for Cavario based in San Diego. I'm the senior SEO strategist and the mobile lead. I'm Kenny Heider. I uh, run an internet marketing agency called Heider Media. Uh, you can see me on Heider.me or uh, at Kenny Heider on Twitter. Um, and I'm Ray Hoffman Dolan, uh, probably better known online as Sugar Ray, um, career affiliate, have been doing affiliate marketing for the last 12 years. Uh, if I didn't do any type of SEO consulting at all, that would more than pay the bills. Um, but I also own an SEO agency as well. Um, so all of us have been doing SEO for quite a long time, working with everything from big brands um, to very competitive industries to doing what a lot of you guys in here are doing, which is trying to build up affiliate sites so that they actually rank in the search engines. So um, we're going to start with our first site, who owns JensenUSA.com? If you can just go up to the mic because we're probably going to have some questions for you. Is it OM? Yeah, yeah. you're right. Uh, no, that's right. Okay, so what do you guys do? Jensen USA is a provider of mountain bike and road biking cycling supplies. Okay, just give us one second here. Um, do you have any ranking problems that you know of, or are you just here to try and figure out? When I'm looking inside Google Analytics to look at where we rank in SEO, we do rank well for specific terms, but general over ter overall terms relating to the cycling industry, we're not ranking really high. Uh, the best cycling term that you can find if you look in Google Trends is uh, cycling, just a single word. We're not ranking very high for that, not on the first page, not on the second page. If you type in mountain biking, it's a uh, give and take where we're at. If you type in... Well, bikes. give and take where you're at, like give and take between 2 and 4, or give and take between 20 and 70? Uh, 5 and 10. Okay. My goal is to be able to have somebody who's looking for cycling gear type in a specific topic, type in cycling, type in bikes, type in mountain bikes, and be able to land on the top 10. Okay. So first thing, uh, you know, right off the bat, I typed in your URL, and uh, your homepage redirects um, to jensenusa.com forward slash, and then you have this huge string query. You can, I think you probably see it. Well, no, no. Uh, Interestingly enough, I don't redirect. So you do. I don't. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> um, okay. So, so some background on this. Mm -hmm. um, this website went live Wednesday. We had an old website. So you are getting some redirects. It's coming from a link that uh, was an old content link that's re redirecting to the new website. Okay, so when you did the migration plan, when you changed, did you change your URL structure when you did the new design? It did. Um, and did you 301 every single old URL to its new URL? Yes, we did. Okay, and you did it with a 301, right? I believe we did. Okay, I'll double yeah, double check that. It's got to be with yeah, a 301. Yeah, I checked it. It was is it? 301. Okay. Yeah. It's the older one. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to tell you, and this is just a, there, there is nothing, you're not going to go to Google and find a guideline on this that, that says this is fact, um, but generally in my experience as an SEO, if you do a site search on a domain and the first result that comes up is not your homepage, um, typically that signifies that Google has some type of problem with your website. Um, so it's not just a matter of that you're not ranking super well, um, it's actually a matter of there's something on your website that's either confusing Google or that it doesn't like. Um, um, but either way, the fact that your tires page ranks above your home page when doing just a generic site search usually to me is not very good of a sign. Um, I'm going to let... We're on that. If you could go back. Because mm -hmm. I was looking at um, tires, locks, inflators. Where do you see the home page? 
I'm saying I don't see the home page. See those results right there? This is a site search on your site. So it's basically a site colon your domain name dot com. When you get the first result, the first result is jensen.com slash tires slash CST. Typically on a site that does not have any issues 99.9% .9 of the time, the first page that's going to come up when you do a site search is their home page. Um, so for, for me, again, there's, there's nothing that says like this is law, um, but in my experience, anytime that we've had a site that comes up like this where it's not their home page coming up first, there, there's usually a, a lot more problems than the person actually thinks there are. Um, does anybody have any comments while I look through some stuff real yeah, quick? Yeah, so also um, just looking at your code on your home page, uh, if you view the source, um, you've got a couple of snippets in here, like line 32, you have this string of code that is in and of itself at least 150 lines worth of code. Um, the problem is, you know, the HTML or, you know, what you're doing isn't bad. It's just really messy and, and cluttered and everything. And especially with, uh, you know, your homepage and everything, you want to kind of condense and minify uh, all of the elements that you're putting on the page for to increase load times and do all that kind of stuff. And right now the, the code is really, really ugly. So I would recommend, you know, kind of taking a look at the code structure. Are you, do you know, um, you know, is this on some sort of f platform or what's it's the back end? Uh, junction Solutions. Is junction the Solutions? Are you guys familiar with that? No. 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 Oh, okay. Um, that can be a problem sometimes with, you know, when you use like a code base to, you know, build a website. Sometimes the, the code can get really cluttered and stuff. I would recommend, do you have someone that works for you in-house that can work on the website? Have them take a look and, and you know, try and condense some of this stuff. There's, uh, you know, CSS just being referenced all over the place, you know, hundreds and hundreds of times just to do your menus and things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's likely that you could be able to clean up that stuff and really kind of decrease your sizes of your pages and the load times of your pages by a lot. That would be a really good thing. And do you own GearBuyer or GearSellers.com? Because they have a lot of the same product descriptions as you have. That's probably uh, one of our affiliates running a data feed. So, but, um, I, I was going to say, uh, as far as, so you, you are the original and then you have affiliates, correct? Just yeah. so that we're clear. Are you giving them a separate data feed from the one that you have? We're are you giving them the same exact data feed that's on your website? Our, our stuff does not come from, we don't, we're not, we create the data feed. We're the original. There is no data feed that we're getting from anybody else to give to anybody. Right, but when you give that data feed to your affiliates, are you editing it at all, or are you just handing them the same data feed that you use to populate your own website? I'm pretty sure it's the same one. I, I would recommend making it a different one. You can give all your affiliates the same one, but make sure that it's different than yours. What, uh, what changed? variations would you recommend or do you have in mind? Um, more like rewriting the description of the item. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, completely rewritten. It just needs to be worded a little bit differently. Um, sometimes too, and I know that the affiliates in the room are going to hate me for this because I hate this, um, but also not giving them exactly as much information as you have on your own website just because you are the merchant. And the problem is, is that if you get an affiliate who's really good at what they do, they could end up outranking you on certain terms. Now I want to know how common is this right here? You can see I went to this t-shirt and it says description 100% cotton. Um, and then there's no reviews of the item. The store availability, I'm going to assume, is pretty generic on every single page. And then the shipping, generic, generic on every single page. So the problem is, is that this is essentially a blank page. Um, and so my curiosity would be how many of these you have. Um, because essentially, if Google's coming to this, other than the item number, the title, and 100% cotton, which I'm going to assume all your t-shirts say 100% cotton, um, you're essentially feeding them multiple pages that are duplicate content and completely empty and they don't see anything on them of value. Um, and the problem is, is that if you give them enough of those, if a majority of your site contains those, then they can start to think that your site's of a lower quality um, and therefore don't want to rank you as well. Also, uh, looking at, if you, if you look at, go back to the site search uh, that you did for the site, Ray. Mm -hmm. Um, looking at your title tags, if you are clicking through, they, it's, it looks like you're just taking your breadcrumbs and putting them into your title tags. Uh, the title tags on your site are extremely important, uh, especially for any pages, uh, you know, product or category level pages that you want to rank. You want to have someone type in a, a term and, you know, have your site come up. Those are the types of pages that you're going to want to use, you know, ultimately if you're searching for apparel or products, you know, you're going to want to have those product and, and category level pages coming in, not your homepage. 
and right now all of your title tags, i mean ah google is gonna see you know the entirety of your site and see all of these title tags and they all look one hundred percent automated and generated and that takes away so much from the quality of your site because each page is basically you know it it appears to be just like some auto generated page so you don't really have any high quality pages on your site because none of them you know they're all being generated with title tags and 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 the description tags and all that um, you know everything that shows up when you search the title tag and the description tag the URL those things are all really important uh, not only for you know ranking and uh, you know performance but also for uh, click through rates and conversion and all that stuff so you really want to spend some time you know hand writing the, the title tags especially for the, the pages that you want to rank and all those kinds of things so your main takeaway the main question you asked is why aren't you ranking for say the different products is that your main concern that was the main concern, but yep. going over what we're going over right now, if Google's looking at me and thinking that <clears throat> a lot of what we're doing is automatically generated and devaluing what's there, I mean, that kind of answers the question. Yeah, your best takeaway is what Kenny said. It, I mean, that's one of the lowest hanging fruits you got right there, is rearrange your breadcrumbs for your actual product to be front loaded, right. as opposed to the whole uh, triage there. Also, like, say for your homepage, having your, your brand name toward the end, especially if you want to be that, that bike. Um, bike source and and really with that too you're appending your uh, brand name to at the end of every title tag on your site you don't need to do that it, you know your your homepage should rank for you know your name and if it's not then you have real problems but you don't need to be putting your basically because everything in your title tag and uh, you know description tag there's a limit and that's why you see if on these search site searches all of your title tags and description tags are getting truncated because they're over the character limits. So your title, I mean, really you want to keep your title tags under 70 characters, including spaces, and your description tags under 150, including spaces, so that you don't get this truncation, which is you know, going to affect your click-through and uh, uh, conversion performance as well. But also, um, you know, like in your title tag, which is a part of you know, a ranking factor, so that what is in your title tag will affect how you rank directly. Um, when you append things to it, like your brand name, um, you're basically taking away uh, value from the keywords that are also in there. So it's also, you know, applying a little bit of that title tag juice uh, to your brand name on every page when you really want to be focusing on just the products. Yeah, I, I, if I can just say, just the just the second low-hanging fruit that you got, I think that you're going to get see pretty quick results. Also, your your canonicalization issue, not just with your dub 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 non dub dub, but just using the rel canonical. Do you want to talk? Do, are you familiar with the rel canonical term? Because that would help you a lot, not just with your homepage, but a lot with your tracking code. If you want to keep the tracking code in there, for I'm assuming you're just using GA, uh, Google Analytics, mm -hmm. just to keep that easy for you. And that way, you really refine that that link juice, and you get the biggest bang for buck on your URLs. Also, your search pages are being cached. I would I would definitely exclude that as well. Um, so like this is a big problem, and this is one thing you need to go through the site. This is just a blank page and it's indexed. So again, it's the same problem as the product page. Um, I, I really think, to be honest with you, that, that you've got a lot of dupe issues and I don't think that they're intentional. I think it's just that that whatever software you're using is spitting out blank pages. Um, so in addition to adding to your own product feed and then giving affiliates a separate product feed, you guys need to go through the site and make sure that whatever's causing, because obviously this is an error. The page shouldn't even be generated if it has no items on it. Um, so you guys need to figure out what's causing this error and have them fix it um, and actually either populate the page or 301 redirect the page to a page that actually is populated with whatever it is that's supposed to be um, on this page. Unfortunately, because you changed the site URL structure like you said four days ago, um, unfortunately Google has not found even remotely anywhere near all your links to understand that you've done that. So it's possible that what we're seeing in your site indexing um, is more that Google's confused, rightly so, because it's now trying to fix all the redirects that you've put into place. Um, so I would do a site search again in about two, two and a half weeks. If your homepage is still not showing up, number one, um, then at that point I would say that you've got a more solid issue. But because you instituted a bunch of redirects four days ago, it's possible that that's what's causing that. So just when you said that. Um, also, uh, going back to the code a little bit, um, the way that your page pages are structured individually as far as the code is concerned need some attention to uh, looking at for example uh, you have h1 tags on your home page um, so header tags are you know an element that we use to kind of identify different you know headings and stuff and how important they are and that goes into the keywords and you know all that plays into the on-site SEO on your home page you have 11 h1 tags 
zero H2 tags and one H3 tag, and you're putting H1 tags on your breadcrumbs and on your navigation, you should really look at, you know, the structure of the site. If you can, you know, there's a lot of free tools out there that you can put your URL into, and it will give you, you know, just a snapshot of what it looks like without any styles or JavaScript, so you kind of get an idea of what it looks like to the search engines. You know, as you go down the page, you're going to have, you know, every page has a main focus or a heading, and then there's subheadings or whatever. Those, you know, the way that you distribute the content on your site through header tags and paragraphs and all of that kind of stuff needs to be weighted towards looking at, you know, what are the most important terms for this page, and then, you know, you put header tags on those, and then secondary and third, and that's why we have H2, H3, H4 tags, and, you know, sectioning things out by paragraphs and all that as well. But right now, the way you're doing it with, you know, just putting every link on the page as a header tag is, you know, you need to change that as well. And just two things that I noticed. I think you guys should be taking advantage of schemas because your website is completely product-focused, and you don't have a single schema on there to really help call out to the search engines what each of these things are. It just helps them get a better understanding of the products on your site. And if you're not familiar with it, there's a free tool called Schema Creator that you can use, and it will help you set them all up. And so I would recommend going through there and trying to get that set up throughout your site. Um, the other thing that I noticed is when you filter on your main product pages, it starts adding a lot of parameters to the URLs. I'd make sure that you go into Webmaster Tools and uh, teach them what your param parameters mean so that they're not uh, going to have any problems handling it, seeing you know, duplicate content through the page if somebody has, if they link to a page that's sorted a certain way. Um, so I'd make sure to go in there and do that. Um, so two more things. So when I did product searches, because what I did was I did a search to find out um, if I put something on your site that obviously is duplicated on a bunch of affiliate sites. Typically, again, you're not going to find this in Google's manual, but typically um, the site that ranks first for whatever the phrase is and quotes is what Google considers to be the original site. So when I did the products linked off your home page, you guys came up first. Um, so I initially I dismissed that, but then as I thought about it, because they're linked to from your home page, it means they have really strong link popularity, so they're probably overriding. When I went in further into your site to other product pages and did an exact search for it, you'll see you guys are not the ones ranking number one. So the data feed thing is a big issue. Because your affiliates already have your data feed, I would change your data feed and just continue giving the, the affiliates the one that they have. Um, also to get more unique content on the page, reviews, 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 especially if you're the merchant, if you're actually shipping this stuff, um, you should be following up with people after they get their shipment um, and basically say, you know, thank you for ordering with, with us. We really appreciate you as a com customer. We'd love if you take the time to review the product that you got. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let other customers know about it. No, we did just sign up with, <clears throat> with Power Review, Power Reviews, to get them installed on the site. Do you have any experience with Power Reviews? No, I don't. I don't know if anybody else does. review software that REI uses on their website, as an example. All, all of the reviews that I do are, are we custom build our stuff, so I don't have any experience with uh, actual software. But the, the bigger thing is going to be actually getting the reviews. Um, and so that's why you already have these people that are buying things, so contact them a week later. Maybe even offer them a 5% discount code if they go and review something on the site. And after they fill out the review, have the review response page contain the coupon code. Um, but just to get more unique content on the site, because that's going to be a big way that you can differentiate yourself from other sites that are using your feed. Um, I'm going to move on to the next site. So um, hopefully some of that helped. Who owns uh, fashionabledogclothes.com? I'm not lying. I just didn't even know there was such a thing. So okay. I just had to see this site. There wasn't such a thing until six months ago. <laughs> All right, so there wasn't such a thing. So your new site, six months? Yes. So what are, your, what are you currently looking to achieve? Um, number one ranking on Google. Okay. Four, do you know what terms you're trying to rank for? Fashionable dog clothes. Okay. That would be much harder. <laughs> How's your site generated? Do you actually sell the items, or are you an affiliate for another company? It's a drop shipping site. A what? Drop, drop shipping. shipping site. Where are you getting the content for all the pages, like this page? Where Where is this description right here coming from? I rewrote the descriptions from the drop shipper. Very good. I could tell I could tell that because when I did a search for it, you're the only one that comes up. But I was just curious as to how you were generating them. I rewrote rewrote them all. So 
Anybody else want to take a leak while I run some stuff from this? So the first thing, uh, you know, you, you have the exact match domain, so you, sh you, know, you should come up for fashionable dog clothes because that's your domain name. Um, the reason I think you're probably not right now, well, let me take a look at this too. But the first thing I see is on your homepage, um, currently your homepage is, uh, you know, just a bunch of featured items that you're selling. Um, generally, you know, with home pages, uh, Google likes to see, you know, some content that, because most people aren't trying to, uh, you know, convert on their home page for a product, you know, driven site. So you're, you really your home page isn't, you know, where you're trying to get people to m make the sale. You want them, you know, people are going to come to your site and click on, you know, one of the categories, what they're looking for, something like that. So really you should kind of think about uh, how do you can recraft your home page so that it is more of a, a front to your site rather than just jumping right into all this content because what happens is when you have a, a, a site that doesn't have a whole lot on it besides products to sell anyway and the home page is just a bunch of links to products it's devalues you know the weight of the home page which is probably why you're not coming up right now because you have like I said the domain name and fashionable dog clothes is first thing in your title tag so you might want to think about uh, you know focusing your home page more towards the user rather than just having you know a bunch of stuff on it um, I'm going to say that your biggest issue is that you have no links. What have you done for link development? Because like, it's showing me nothing. So have you gone out and actually tried to develop links to your website? Yes. <clears throat> what have you done to do so? Um, written articles, commented on blogs. Uh, really? Because I'm, I'm showing like directory, I'm showing uh, Well, I, I, I think part of the problem is his blog is on a completely different domain. Uh, oh, there's a blog as well as the fashionable dog clothes. It's fashionable dog clothes blog. Yeah, so you want to yeah. always keep your blog on the same domain uh, because I couldn't get it on the same domain. The, Why not? The, Why? The people who built the website um, said it, I could just could, just said I couldn't have it there. Oh, so you should hire some new people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, I mean, like, like even if even if you're on a .NET, like, you know, we do have companies sometimes that are on a .NET and therefore they can't use the WordPress platform. Um, but even then, you can put it on a subdomain and allow PHP on the subdomain. So no, you absolutely can have it on your own domain. I don't know if they don't want to do it um, or if it's just really hard for them um, or what the issue is. But yeah, I second Kenny. You should find some they new people. They told me it wasn't possible. No, it's absolutely possible. Um, I, I will bet that 75% of the people that are in here have blogs running on their own I, merchant I sites. So I, yeah. I, I, somebody gave me the advice that I get it on the same place and uh, they wouldn't. Uh, they told me it couldn't be done. Yep. Find new people. Um, so uh, and I'm sure there's people in here that do web dev that probably know how to put a blog on a domain. So um, also your your item codes right here, the DD2. Go ahead and remove those, especially from your title tag. If you want to leave them on the page, leave them on the page. But there's no reason that that needs to be in the title tag. It basically just takes up space and takes away from the keyword density from the rest of the title tag. So just go ahead and remove that. Um, the, the big thing that I'm seeing, so when you're developing links, are you developing links to fashionabledogclothes.com or are you developing links to fashionabledogclothesblog.com? To the to main site. To the main site. Um, I'm going to say that you should probably uh, go after different types of links then. Um, because from what I can see, like I don't see any, I'm, I'm running a Majestic report on them um, and I'm seeing zero links. So I mean, it's possible it's because they're a newer site and they haven't found as many of your backlinks yet. Um, but if you do, what ones you do have apparently are not really valuable because they're not coming up in the, the reports that we're doing. Um, Ray, did you check out his links page? Mm. No, really? Do you, are you you are using SEO Court as your SEO agency? I beg your pardon. Do you know SEO Court? Is that no. your SEO agency? No. Okay, because you have them listed on your link page along with Pegasus Directory, Dog Kennel Solutions, and their links. If you go to fashionabledogs.com slash links. It's not that. That's, that's right here. It's right here on the screen. No, so I, I understand. I, I haven't paid enough attention to that uh, page. Yeah, that page shouldn't even be there. Um, in this day and age, like if you guys want to have pages, um, especially if you're bloggers, if you want to have pages that kind of show related sites or if you sell apples and somebody else sells baskets um, and you want to link back and forth. But if your links consist of linking back to a directory in order to get a directory link, then it's a crap directory and you don't want the link. Um, same thing like the, the SEO course 
support. And I say this every time, like, I don't know how many merchants there are in the room, and I don't know how many SEOs I'm going to piss off. I really don't care. But uh, if you're paying an SEO company and they are putting a link to their website in your footer, you're paying them twice. Um, there, them. Yeah, there is no reason that you should be helping your SEO company rank for the terms that they want to rank for. Um, so that's that's a big thing. So And it looks like, I don't know if you use this SEO company or maybe, and it's possible your developers. It's possible, and we've seen it. I'm, I'm not saying that your developers are doing this. So like, I'm, I'm not, don't say their name because I don't want to be like blogged about that I said that they were doing this. Um, but my guess would be is that sometimes we've seen cases where developers, when they know people don't really understand what they're doing, um, the developers will kind of shove in links to sites um, in conjunction with getting paid for it by outside SEO companies. So um, that, that page just shouldn't be there, especially like that where it's just one. So an another problem that I'm seeing is on, on your left side navigation where you, where you list all the different types of uh, categories you have, you also list uh, categories on the right side, and they uh, it's basically just duplicate content because it's the same content on two different URLs um, that I'm seeing, um, and, and and obviously that's going to be a problem just There's categories the on the right. Yeah, I mean like what's that? same thing. Nothing against get clicky, but if you have to link to their analytics program in your footer, then just get rid of them and get Google Analytics and you can use it for free and you won't have to link back. Because yeah. essentially, like all the links that are pointed at your page, and it's not, I'm not talking about leaking page rank, so I want to be really, really clear on that. Please do not anybody go home and blog that I said that you shouldn't link out to places because it'll leak your page rank. Um, I'm not talking about page rank at all, but when you have a bunch of links no, that are coming no, into a site, so you essentially right, get credit yeah. for those links. Yeah. And every site that you link to from your website, you're giving a little bit of that credit and passing it through to that site. So if you're passing credit through to an analytics no, program like and to an SEO company, website, there's just like no reason to be doing that. You're basically, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't link to anybody. It's a good thing to link to sites. It's a good thing to link to quality sites. Um, but if you're having to link to services in order to be able to use them, I, I just wouldn't use them. And there's plenty of free alternatives to for yeah, analytics. So you also have a lot of, it, uh, throughout you know the pages, you have a lot of uh, repeat usage of description tags. Um, for your pages, so some of the some of the pages are looks like the description tags were written by hand, but a, a lot of them, if you click on the second and third pages of a site result for your domain, you see a lot of repeat text in your description tags, which will hurt you. Um, so if you don't, you know, have the time to write all of these description tags and title tags by hand, leave it. You know, don't put them there because Google will generate something. Uh, copying, pasting, you know, dozens and dozens of description tags over the same, you know. Pay, uh, duplicate over multiple pages is going to hurt you negatively. Also, I think uh, on top of links, um, the only really to me, I, I, to let me know if you guys disagree, but really it seems mostly just a content issue. Your your code looks okay. It's you know it, it's clean and it's uh, you know written out. It's a little long, and you do have some inline uh, JavaScript and CSS that you could get rid of by putting in external files and referencing them in your header. Um, but your you know, for the most part, your title tags are are neat. Your uh, code is neat. Um, you've got you know semi-decent internal linking structure. You really just need to focus on uh, you know the content of the site. So, what's the main takeaway you're trying to you're trying to gain from this, though? Because I mean, you're ranking pretty well for your main terms. Mm -hmm. What what is it that you're um, just to rank better for, um, for, you say we rank well for him, but I want to rank even better. I want to be in the top one through three uh, spots for um, my keywords. And then uh, just cleaning up the site, some of the things you guys so mentioned. The big thing is, is, and it's, you know, this is often the case, and it's a simple thing, it just has to be done. It, the big thing is going to be, you know, going back the same as one of the, the previous sites, just making pages that are. Built for the key, you know the keywords, not built for the keywords, but you know built around those products individually, mm -hmm. and cleaning those things up. The things like you know m condensing down your title tags, uh, you know getting a little bit more uh, focused on which keywords you're putting into your title tags, your header tags, things like that. Um, and then really, you know, you have a good you know backlink portfolio right now. You have some decent links, and you've got a lot of them and everything. But you know the the trick is to rank for those you know terms at the top. Uh, the competitive terms. Once you have those pages that are crafted, um, you know, putting a couple of really high quality links 
or you know hiring someone to build links or, or however you know you go about your link building strategy directly towards those pages and that's where you'll see you know those bottom of the page middle of the page rankings go to the number one and the ones that aren't there show up on first page um, um, I'm also gonna take a guess and like this is a guess I may be wrong because I, I haven't looked at it but I'm gonna guess that you guys rely a lot on your brand the fact that you are Net Nanny or associated with Net Nanny, and the links just flood in, um, and most of them probably have the keywords Net Nanny attached to them versus you know what you want to actually rank for on the two separate sites. Um, so one of the things would would be to do a deliberate link building campaign targeting specific right. keywords. Um, also too, like you guys have Net Nanny, like let some mommy bloggers have access to it in exchange for them doing a review if they like and tell them you're not asking them to say they liked it they don't like it you don't care but you'll give them access just so that they can do a review etc um, but you, you've got to do more of a concentrated link building effort and like for everybody that's in here too because I know that this is something that sometimes is a given to us um, but like link building you you can have the best on-site SEO you can have the best title tags you can have the best content you can have the best internal linking structure but if you are not actually out then you can have a hell of a lot of links coming into your site. Um, but if you are not actually out there developing keyword based links, targeting the keyword that you want to rank for, you're probably never going to rank for those keywords unless it's something like, you know, crocheting doilies in purple. Um, but if it's something competitive um, or even mildly competitive, especially in the affiliate space, because let's face it, if it makes money, then you're probably competing against some of the best SEOs in the world. In my opinion, best SEOs do affiliates. Um, because they like to make money for themselves. So it's kind of like if you're in an affiliate space, you have to make sure that you're developing links. The rest of the on-site stuff, as you can see, even with all the links that you have, if you have issues, it can hurt you um, and it can cause you to stop ranking. But the other way around, you, you cannot, you can have the best on-site SEO in the world, but if you guys are not developing links outside of that, you're never going to rank for what the keywords are that you want to rank for. So Ray, do you recommend, since he's the ideal internet filter for families, that he should go to blog her and get mommy, mommy <laughs> blogger links? Yes. I, 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 <laughs> we I would not recommend <laughs> using mommy <laughs> bloggers, no. Um, no, I mean, it, it's kind of like, like go after your target market. I mean, most of these people have blogs. Get them to promote you. And a lot of times, if you just let them know that you just want to let them review the software so that they let their users know about it, the big thing is going to be don't require them to link to you. Um, in order to stay within the search engine's guidelines, do not require them to link to you. Just tell them that you will give them uh, free access to the software in order for them to be able to review it. But don't make any requirements as far as how they're going to link to you. Most of them understand the value of a link. So most of them, if they like your software, are going to link to it. And they're probably going to link to it with nice anchor text. So, um, And they are, 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 oh, I still have, OK. We still have two minutes. <laughs> OK, so also, um, oh, why don't you go ahead? Well, I, I'm finding your blog on a completely different domain as well. Okay. Uh, is that intentional? No, like, it's not. It should be still in the same domain. I, yeah, I'm there, there is also a blog on the main, that's indexed on the main domain. Okay, so I'm also finding contentiscurrency.com. I don't know if that's a uh, an old version of it. You can actually see it down on, in, in your footer uh, on your main page. There is a link to it. Um, okay. Let me go back to it, even though you can't see mine. Uh, you have a little RSS feed down at the bottom where it says content rich blog and it has a bunch of the previous posts from it okay. uh, and so that's a lot of content so if it is I assume it's your guys' stuff mm -hmm. uh, I would make sure that you can uh, get that back over to what your main blog is set up those redirects okay. uh, so you're not splitting that up gotcha. um, one question I had too um, if we have we're, we're thinking of breaking out this page where we, we do our features um, or our benefits because um, right now a lot of the pages have the same duplicate content on it because it's describing different parts of the product, um, what it does, and how it and how it does how it uh, does internet filtering and and uh, content management. Um, so it's using a lot of the same text. Do you think that's that's a good solution? Is to break it out where we're just talking about the benefits or the features that it has? Each each feature has its own individual page. Uh, I like I like I mean every page is an opportunity for you to be targeting additional keywords. So and, okay. and because you have this problem right now where you are you are targeting so many, I think it's a great way to start uh, breaking out more pages on your site and and being more specific with the keywords you're targeting as well. So you can make sure that when pe when people are clicking through, they are finding exactly what they're looking for. So I, I mean I'm always all for getting more content and more pages on there. Okay. 
all right, so i just got the ah time thing. so again, make sure to fill out your review things. and each day they're doing six forms will be randomly drawn drawn to receive a gold pass for the next show thank you very much guys. hopefully you found this helpful and have a really good rest of your show and make sure you guys all hit the share sale party tonight and does anybody know if the steelers actually lost lost? it's twenty three sixteen oh god, how many minutes left? ten minutes left in the fourth quarter. denver up okay